Bottom of my shoe, honey, let me be your salty dog. Let me be your salty dog, or I won't be your man at all. Honey, let me be your salty dog. Welcome to T Bone's Best of Roanoke Show. Music, comedy, and conversation featuring now HB, wow. Honey Badger. Honey Badger don't care. Now, on with the show. Let me be your salty dog, or I won't be your man at all. Honey, let me be your salty dog. This. Radio Free Roanoke, and this is episode number 80, 80 HB. Wow. Very special episode of T-Bone's Best of Roanoke Show. Our very special guest is Olivia King, general manager of the new Mass General Store right here at 401 South Jefferson Street in downtown Roanoke. Olivia, thank you. Thank you for letting these two vagabonds in the front door in the first... <laughs> And then uh, the, the other thing is, on behalf of Radio Free Roanoke and our show, welcome to Roanoke. Yes, welcome. Uh, thank you. No, I'm excited to do it. I'm excited to be here. It's uh, been a lot of fun. Well, well, right now we're interviewing you, you here in the store, and there's a lot of training, I guess, of staff and hubbub going on. But in total full disclosure, I've never been to a Mass General store before. Have you, HB? No, I haven't, T-Bone. Could no. you give us like a thumbnail sketch of what people can expect uh, here in Roanoke when they come here? Yeah, well, we're a family of stores. It started um, back in 1883 in the uh, North Carolina mountains, a little community called Valley Crucis. Valley Crucis? Valley Crucis, Crucis. yes. Right. Vale of the Cross. Um, what was that? Vale of the Cross. So that's Latin. what that means? Mm -hmm. oh, yes. okay. Yeah. So uh, a, lot of, a lot of history in that area, but the Mass General Store uh, started in 1883. Um, post office and everything really started serving the community, all the needs. You know, um, they used to say everything from cradles to caskets. <laughs> right it's there. Yeah. Name. Yes. <laughs> everything in between. <laughs> uh, and then in more recent history, in um, 1980, the Cooper family um, came to town, saw the store was up for sale and had been closed down, and they wanted to save it and um, start serving the community of Valley Crucis again. So they reopened the store in 1980. Okay. And since then, um, we've grown to, this Virginia will be the fourth state we're in, okay. mm. and this will be the 11th Mass General Store. So in over 100 years, you guys have been very selective in opening up stores. This is only the 11th one in uh, over 100 years. Um, and then in the other stores, are, I guess the main stores are in North Carolina? We have uh, three stores in what we call the high country of North Carolina, where Valley Crucis is um, located. The original store, then just two-tenths of a mile down from that is what we call the Annex, mm -hmm. uh, which was a competing general store for years with the um, Mass General Store. All right. And then uh, a few short years later, they opened a store in Boone, in downtown Boone. Okay. And that was our first downtown store. Okay. And then as far as other stores outside of North Carolina, where are they? We have stores well in North Carolina, then there's also Asheville, okay. Hendersonville, mm -hmm. and Waynesville. Right. Then in South Carolina, we have stores in Greenville and Columbia. And in Tennessee, we have a store in Knoxville. Okay. All so right. very select elite group. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. In fact, um, you know, Mass Store has been looking at Roanoke as a location for about 14 years. Really? Well, I was going to ask you that, Olivia. How did Roanoke pop up on the radar? Well, all of the communities we go into um, have invited us in, have asked if Mass Store would like to open a store in their downtown. Uh -huh. uh, and our leadership team will visit the locations, right. um, determine if it's a good fit with the community and with us. And in Roanoke, um, it was just a matter of finding the right time and the right building and letting everything kind of fall into place to make sure it was going to be a success for um, Mass Store and the community of Roanoke. Well, as far as the building goes, I think you found the right building. This is the old Hieronymus store, uh, and Hieronymus, there's a lot of history there with Hieronymus. Yeah. They moved into this building in 1915, 
Uh, so th that was here until I think 1996. So it's 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 a large. Would you say large is a good word to it's, use? It's, <laughs> space. Yes, yeah. How yes. does this rank with the other uh, mass? It's one of the largest, if not the okay. largest, square footage wise. Absolutely. About sixteen thousand. Yes. I heard. Really, really nice, beautiful space. place. So. Yes, uh, and the. Um, the decor, the styling of it is, is slightly different from some of our other stores. We really wanted to make it unique to the community and incorporate some of the history of Roanoke. So oh, we've done oh. a lot more with um, metal. You'll see some metal accents around, where uh -huh. generally everything is mostly wood. So just kind of harkening back to the, the steel and the railroads here in Roanoke. Okay. That feel. I've looked at some of the pictures of the, uh, the original uh, Mass General Store uh, there at Valley Crucius. Right. <laughs> it looks like a place Charles Corralt would visit. Uh, <laughs> well, it's funny you should say that because he did visit it. He did. He did, he did and in fact wrote um, a very complimentary article in which um, it, he's quoted as saying, "If you if you want to find the soul of the South, where to go would be the Mass General Store in Valparaiso." Oh. Wow. I remember watching him on uh, Sunday mornings, right? Yeah. One of my favorite shows for years. No, is the post office still in that? Building? It is. So shortly after the Coopers uh, bought the, the store and reopened it, they wanted to, as I say, continue to serve the community as um, in any way they could. And the locals coming in were very sad they had lost their post office. Uh -huh. So they contracted with the um, U.S. Postal Service. And yes, there is still a functioning post office uh, in that original store with the old style uh, mailboxes. Right. Yeah. Oh, that is so cool. So this store like this, it's a general store. It's it, we would have everything you would need, I suppose, at that, at, from that we, time we on. We sure try, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh -huh. I think when uh, you guys originally started, it was probably like the mall for exactly. our grandparents, like, right? Exactly. right? They would come to a general store like this. Mm -hmm. So what are some of the departments that you have here that you would have featured items? Yes, we saw um, probably our most, our department that has the most uh, general store feel is our mercantile department. Huh which has our gourmet foods in it, jellies and jams and grits. Mm. Um, it has home decor, it's got gardening supplies, um, pet supplies, um, just anything for your kitchen giftware, lots of uh, gift items as well. We have a fashion department, which has men's and women's fashions and accessories, so handbags, wallets, jewelry, scarves, hats. Uh, and we have an outdoor and footwear department. And our footwear department, we carry brands like Merrill and Chaco, um, Keen, Oboes. And um, in our outdoor department, we have clothing for men and women with brands like Patagonia, North Face, Rab, um, as well as packs, camp equipment, camping food. Yeah, I, it's a huge, like we said before, it's a huge store. Uh, it's got different levels, you know. It's got, uh, right. So it's, it's I can't really forget cool. to mention too our our um, in our outdoor department we have a, a large selection of knives too. Our our um, knife uh, right. department has really grown in the last few years. We've got a lot of um, unique and really nice knives as well. Right. Well, I think Roanoke's kind of like Asheville, I guess, in a way, very outdoorsy. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you geared a lot of a lot of your stuff here is geared towards that, I would imagine. Yes, it really, a lot of our stores are along the Blue Ridge Parkway, just like Roanoke is. So, yeah, it fits right in with that, that outdoorsy kind of atmosphere. Yeah. yeah. Now, HB, when we came in, you noticed on the uh, wall a game you said your parents used to yes, they bought uh, for you. Tell us about right. that. Right. When I was a kid, me and my brother, uh, we'd go to Sears and Roebuck, and we, uh, I remember Mom and Dad ordered a, a game called Carom. And I noticed it on the wall over there, and I love all the stuff that's on the walls. It's it's like stepping back in time, and uh, the decor is just is beautiful. It's a, it's a lot more I could comment on. I've seen so yeah, a lot of I can't wait to to really dig in and look around once y'all are open. Uh -huh. And then the wooden floors, right? <laughs> that yeah. adds to it the little it creaking. Is. Well, it's funny you mentioned eye candy because I left this completely out of the mercantile department, which I shouldn't, our candy barrel, which is one of the biggest draws um, for every member of the family. We have over 500 kinds of old-fashioned candy you can buy by the pound. So a lot of things you uh, might not have seen in a while, 
you can, oh, uh, you can I look get forward your to that. Buy. Yeah, fill your basket full of candy. Yeah. Now, Olivia, is it possible I could come in here at noon and maybe get a moon pie and a yoo-hoo? Absolutely. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is great. <laughs> well, you're going to have a lot of customers there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. A great location, so. So over 500 forward. types of old-fashioned candy. What would be an example of uh, some candies? Oh, we've got Bullseye is one of our best mm. sellers. Mm -hmm. Bullseye. Mm -hmm. Yes, we've got um, vanilla and chocolate and a black licorice flavored and strawberry bullseyes. Uh, peanut butter bars are another big favorite. Um, bit of honey, okay. chicken yeah. sticks, yeah. All right. uh -huh. as well as some of the newer stuff for the kids. Lots of gummies and sours. All right. Um, so you got a lot of that. Now you have a books and uh, music section as well. I saw on your website. Yes, I don't know that we're going to have um, music or as much music here, but we do also have a selection of books and cookbooks. Okay. Yes, right. and we do, the, the cookbooks um, are uh, a lot of regional selections, so you might see some of your favorite southern cooks, cookbooks right. out. Yeah, and we also do have a um, what we call a kind of a local shop where we've oh. got products from here in Virginia that we're selling anything from, from grits to... Um, to uh, drink mixes and all sorts of fun stuff. So you incorporate yeah. stuff local we, with yes. a local flavor. We've also got a local um, soap company, Peacock Soap. We'll be selling their soaps and lotions also. Okay. Yeah. Well, going back to your uh, merchantile area, um, barbecue sauce, I'd be interested in that. We have lots of different styles for you. We've got a couple of mass store brands that are delicious. Okay. We okay. also have um, Old Mule and. Um, I like that other, name. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. We've got some hot sauces as well. Um, HB would which like is my, yeah. Yes, that's where I'll, <laughs> I'll check out for sure. But I, I like the display cases when you come in the door. It's, it's, it is. It's, it reminds you of a, of a general store, you know, like the, yeah. it looks like it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. So, I was, I was, Tell me if this is true. In my mind, my mind's eye, Olivia, I thought, you know, this store at Christmas time is really going to be done up right. Do you oh, guys do, yes. do, you do it? Oh, yes. It's beautiful. Anything? Our windows will, um, shortly after Thanksgiving, we'll do our Christmas window displays. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, that will really take you back in time with the beautiful oh. lighting and greenery around it and lots of, of greenery and red bows in the building. Oh my! Yeah. yeah. Christmas music playing. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be it'll be righteous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, and then uh, as far as toys, I saw where you gonna have old-fashioned toys. Mm -hmm. Now, what yes. what exactly are we looking at there? So, um, we have kind of old folklore games that wooden mm -hmm. wooden games that you might recognize. You know, like the um, Dancing Man on a Stick and yeah. oh, okay. early gigs, and uh, we have lots of puzzles. Um, games like everything from Candyland and um, Checkers, of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sell coffee? We do. We've got um, a mass store brand of coffee. It's still it a is, nickel, isn't it? It is roasted. <laughs> I believe At the original it's... store, you can still get okay. a cup of coffee for, like, for a nickel. And it's, it's on the honor it's system. It's on the honor system. Yeah. That's right. yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there'll be coffee here as well. We'll we will sell coffee by the pound, yes. Oh, my. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. ground and whole bean it. Um, roasted out of um, South Carolina. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And then, um, let's see, what else? Travel. I saw there was a section for travel. What does that mean? Uh, yeah. Luggage? Or? We've got some luggage and travel backpacks. Mm -hmm. um, we carry uh, Eagle Creek brand of um, travel gear, which can help you with packing more into a smaller space. Okay. Which is right. nice. We've got, um, of course, maps and books, travel books as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, campus gear for the, the college kids, is that right? Yes, lots of uh, packs for them as well. And um, water bottles. We sell uh, Nalgene and Hydroflask, which um, the college kids like to take um, off to a class with them as well. Mm -hmm. okay. right. And we do have a collegiate area, which we have um, Virginia Tech and UVA merchandise huh. also. Oh, you do? Yeah, yes. very cool. <laughs> well, you've covered your bases there. You've yeah. done your research. <laughs> now, is this the first mass store you've worked at, or have you, you've been a career mass employee? I've worked for mass store. It will be 13 years in August. Good for oh. you. And I started at the original store in Valley Cruces. Oh, my okay. so, And I've worked at a couple of different stores in the high country. And I was very excited at the opportunity to get to open a store in a new community here in Roanoke. So you relocated also? I did. I relocated um, specifically for this store, oh, wow. as did two of our other 
um, out of the three area managers. They came from other existing math stores as well to to, uh, okay. to be in Roanoke. So you like this area? It? It's been wonderful. Good. Yeah, the people are so friendly. <laughs> Good. Um, that was me. Yeah. yeah, yeah, really. It's a nice size city. It's a, like a city with a small town feel still. Yeah. Yes, yes. It offers a lot for its mm -hmm. size. Sure does. And I think this store will fit in really well. Before we return back to our show, all of today's bumper music is provided by those splendid regional artists, Tim White and the VW Boys. interview with Olivia King, the general manager of the new Mass General Store here in Roanoke, Virginia, continues. Based on your, you know, the other store's experience, uh, you know, Roanoke gets a lot of tours, you know, from Amtrak, uh, Hotel Roanoke, and all those other places. People come here for the hiking and biking and all that. But is this kind of, is Mass considered like a, a destination for tourists? It besides is. the local population? It is, absolutely, besides the local population. Um, many of our locals will, you know, really ad adopt their new math store as their own math store, and they're yeah. very proud of their math store in their town. Okay. But absolutely, um, and being along the parkway and in the kind of area where Roanoke is, we do get a lot of um, traffic from tourism as well. I see. And the last, if I remember right, correct me, uh, the last mass store to open was 2015, and that was in Winston-Salem. That's right. So it's just, it's been five years. So this, these aren't like McDonald's popping no. up or right. Starbucks. And no, so you guys it, are very selective. So we're very exactly. fortunate to have you. We are. Yes. It's, it's, yes. We, um, we do our, our research and make sure it's going to be a good fit for the community and for us. And we, we take our time with it. And you mentioned 14 years. That's that's kind of taking your time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, now, how many staff do you anticipate having here? We will have uh, probably between 25 and 30. Okay. Mm -hmm. On a on a usual basis, that might bump up a bit at the holiday time, and right. high tourist season. But yeah. All right. Now, and of course, I think you guys were originally set to open in April, and then this thing called COVID stepped in. Right. Yeah. So yeah. it's postponed everything. When do you anticipate opening? We will be open on uh, June 17th. Okay. Not oh, a couple not weeks. too long, yes. Yes, yes. We're, it's, count, it's countdown to it. Yeah. <laughs> now, will you be open? What would your hours be? Will they be flexible? Or? We're going to be, we're going to um, start out with 10 to 6, okay. um, Monday through Saturday, and noon to 6 on Sunday. Okay. Seven days a week. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. Nice. 
So there, is there cards? And I, I see different things. Uh, it, it's so much in here. There is so much. There uh, is, and you know, as long as I work for Mouse Store, it seems every time I walk through, I'll notice something I think I haven't seen before. Um, <laughs> but yes, we do also have greeting cards and journals. Yeah, okay. Um, as well, yes, which are our big sellers. Pillows and rugs. Um, wow. Yeah. Yeah, there's a, so much in here. So. Uh, it's going to take a while to go through this place. <laughs> it does. Yeah. you gotta, you got to take your time, and that's just fine. That's what we like. Yeah. Just take your time and enjoy it all. Take it all in. Well, it's 16,000 square feet, so there is a lot of room to roam down here. Uh, right above you here in the old Hirana store is uh, also activity. I think there's 80 apartments above you in the swimming pool. Yes. That's all new, along with you, into this building. Right. There's a lot of energy going on here. There is. Yeah. There is. Yeah. Yes, and they've got people that have already started moving in upstairs as well. So okay. the building's filling up fast. <laughs> wow. Now, as far as uh, uh, any special community uh, events, do you guys get involved with the community at all? Yes, absolutely. In fact, we have... Um, uh, community resource manager who will help us make those connections in the community what's a good fit for us and for the community uh -huh, okay. to um, do partnerships definitely we will start out when we open our doors we'll start out with a roundup for um, um, I think for the um, Southern Virginia Food Bank oh, yeah so. oh that's nice yeah now, I've touched and you've touched and HB has touched on a lot of different items here in the store. Are there any other items that we might have left out that are popular? Yeah, that, oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. Well, that, that <laughs> might be a highlight for you. you know, for you. Um, well, well, one of my favorites is Lodge. What? Um, Lodge, Lodge Cast Iron Cookware. Oh, yes. 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 Uh -huh. That's another. That's a company that's been around for over 100 years also. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, high quality cast iron, that's always a favorite. I've eaten many a breakfast uh, years ago on that growing up. Nothing nothing makes cornbread taste better no, than when it's baked in a cast iron skillet. That's it. Too. You have uh, uh, rocking chairs, I bet? We do have, in fact, we've got um, Troutman, made in North Carolina, and um, Amish rockers, which are the most comfortable rockers you'll ever sit in. Cool. So Very you high quality, <laughs> handmade, and signed. Each one of them is signed by the um, Person that no way. Made well, that's yes. cool. Oh, nice. Do you have any like to try out? Of course. We'll <laughs> a, nice, a nice section set up by our checkerboard, so you can sit down, relax, and drink your drink your RC cola and, and eat your moon pie and play some checkers and hang out for a while. Oh, so you do have areas that you can sit down and relax a little bit, maybe yes. from yeah, all the shopping. Yeah, they're usually pretty full with, of um, pa very patient husbands. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, now, uh, we both have pets, so uh, what kind of uh, specific, what are popular pet items that you have? We carry uh, Roughwear, which is a great line of um, everything from packs for your, for your dog to uh, collars and toys as well. And we have a lot of chew toys and fun things for your pet, as well as um, treats. Uh, and um, even some CBD pro products for your pet. Okay, yes, yes, yes. yes. okay, even for pets. Right. Oh, wow, yeah. okay. And then and, uh, I guess the only other department I can think of, Olivia, is jewelry. What kind of jewelry do you have? Yeah. Um, we carry several different um, brands. We've got Rain um, Jewelry. We also have our own mask store brand of earrings that we sell. Um, we've got some handmade ceramic jewelry by Linda Liu. Um, so lots of choices there. The mm -hmm. ocean, the 40 ocean bracelets mm -hmm, as well. Okay. Well, as, as we're getting ready to wrap up, Olivia, what else would you like to highlight or what else would you like the people of Roanoke to know about Mass General Store in general and this, this particular store? This location, yeah. Just how excited and happy we are to be becoming part of the community here. We really, as I said before, we like we, we partner with the community and, and see what we can do, what what are, are good fits for us to, um, as we have a sign in our window, help the stars shine even more brightly oh, in Roanoke. Very so, cool. Uh, I think I'll steal a line here to sum it up for me, uh, if, HB. If, if you can't find it here, you probably don't need it. That's it. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like it. It's everything. It, like I said, it's hard to pinpoint. There's so many different things, clothes, women's clothes, hats, handbags. I see so much. So uh, Kitchenware, yeah. cleaning okay. supplies. Yeah. yeah. All right. 
All right. Well, Olivia, this is the beginning of a beautiful relationship with Roanoke and Mass General Store. Thank you so much for Thank you, hosting. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you, Olivia. Start of a beautiful relationship. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye. All right. Did I do all right for you, Olivia? Yeah. yeah. Good for you. Okay, did very you. well. You know your history. Well, I, I'm, I've worked with the company for a long time. Yeah, and then Mass, you know, the Mass family, I guess, or whoever that was last name in the 1800s, 1880s, something. Mm -hmm. And then did they own it till the seven, till it closed? They owned in the mid 70s. They sold it to um, an App State professor and his partner. And they are the ones that came in and they ran it for about a year and then they closed it down in the winter. They left and locked the door and never reopened. Oops. Huh. And that's when the Coopers, the Coopers had been to the store, John Cooper had been and um, when it was still open and been inside and seen it and seen what a wonderful um, example of a, of a general store it was. And when they came back and saw that it had closed down and was up for sale, they just they had to do something about yeah, it. Yeah, they, they bought wow. it, brought merchandise, mm -hmm. and kind of, you know, went to open and, and was looked at each other like, what have we done? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> what have we done? Um, You've done so. your research, too. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. They wondered what they'd done. They, you know, they brought their, their two kids up from Florida, sold everything they had. And right. In a U-Haul. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> they did. And lived above the store for four years. Really? Yes. They're in the valley, so, yeah. And you worked at the original Valley Cruces. I did. And I've never heard of that town before, or whatever it is, or location. Right. Uh, but uh, that's very impressive. I mean, that's the belly of the beast. That's where it all started. Yeah. Well, and the reason I wanted to work there, I moved um, to the area from somewhere else, and I had, on vacation, always gone shopping at the mass store so, oh. in Valley Cruces. And so when I moved there, that's the first place I went to see if they were hiring. Because, oh. you know, you love to shop there. Sure. It's such a wonderful feeling you get when you're in a mass store. And uh, so I wanted to be a part of that. Wow. Well, we've been telling our friends we were going to interview you. <laughs> and they were so curious. What's this mass store? Yeah. Like? Oh, and man. I really didn't know. I, I was very... Uh, I looked it up some, at, yeah. you know, back when, when I heard about it coming. And uh, then did a lot more research before this interview. But... Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's it, it's so neat. I, I can't wait to thumb through everything because it's it's a lot in here. My wife, I think, is going to really enjoy this store. Mm -hmm. So uh, we definitely look forward to the opening. Well, we'll, we'll get out of your hair. Uh, I will email you uh, when it's going to air on the radio. Okay. And actually what I'll do is, since it's going to be the 17th, I'll make sure it runs that week. Thank you. Great. Uh, like up, leading up to that. And then uh, we'll also get it on YouTube within the next few days. And that's what I really like. I like it for YouTube because so, you can watch it at midnight or listen yeah. to it at midnight or whether you're yeah, working out or driving to, to work. or website. You can listen to it. And then I'll send you the link to that. And I think you'll enjoy it. I'll, I'm, all, I'm already thinking in my head I'm going to weave in some bluegrass <laughs> music. Great. So I think it'll be a good show. Are you, are you feeling good about the store right now oh, and yeah. where it's at as far as with the opening being the 17th. Absolutely, we've got a great staff that have been working really hard on this store, so we'll, well, we'll be ready. Well, heck, right. you were on the goal line there in April. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you just had to put the pause button. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which, okay. <laughs> any new business, that's, or, or any new, yeah, yeah that, that's, that is just It was, it was hard. disappointing for us, it really was, yeah. but uh, we knew we'd be back when the, when the time right. came. And, well, so. Okay. Well, thank you, and again, welcome to Rona. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. I sell the morning paper, sir. My name is Jimmy Brown. Everybody knows that I'm the news boy of this town. You can hear me yelling morning star early on the street. I got no hat up on my head, no shoes up on my feet. I sell the morning paper, sir. My name is Jimmy Brown. I'm off cold and hungry, sir. My clothes are mighty thin. I wonder about from place to place my daily bread to win. Never mind, sir, how I look, don't look at me and frown. I sell the morning paper, sir, my name is Jimmy Brown. I 
sell the morning paper, sir. My name is Jimmy Brown. Everybody knows that I'm the newsboy of this town. You can hear me yelling, morning star, early on the street. I got no hat upon my head, no shoes upon my feet. I sell the morning paper, sir. My name is Jimmy Brown. Father died a drunkard, sir, I've heard my mother say Now I'm helping mother, sir, as I journey on my way My mother always told me, sir, I've nothing in the world to lose I got a place in heaven, sir, to sell the gospel news I sell the morning paper, sir, my name is Jimmy Brown Everybody knows that I'm the newsboy of this town you can hear me yelling, morning star, early on the street. I got no hat upon my head, no shoes upon my feet. I sell the morning paper, sir, my name is Jimmy Brown. down now and get some sleep. Good night, everybody. Good night, Mama. Good night, Ben. Good night, everyone. Good night, Mama. Good night, Daddy. Good night, children. Good night, Daddy. Good night, Elizabeth. Good night, John Boy. Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, Jim Bob. Good night, Jim Bob. What's going on? I was asleep. What's everybody doing? Good night, Good night Jim Bob. Good night, Jim Bob. <laughs> <laughs>